Hi, it's Dawn from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do these little barrettes. Now, I did this in worsted weight yarn, but you could probably do it in any weight yarn. I probably wouldn't go down any thinner than like a sport weight or a DK weight because the a fingering weight would probably be a little too thin to do one of these, but it's really up to you. You could try. I also used a 5.5 millimeter or an eye hook but again as long as your hook and yarn match it really doesn't matter what size yarn or what size hook you use. So you could use any color that you want to I mean this is like a really good one of those little good stash busting uh, ideas that you can do. If you do craft shows these would be really good to put on your craft table because they're just a quick and easy uh, project to do and I just think they're really cute and I think they would uh, I think it would be one of those good things to sell I used to do craft shows years ago and these little um, little projects like this these little little things seem to go really well I mean I haven't done craft shows in years but when I used to do them little um, little bar rats and things like that seem to sell really well but anyway, I also used these barrettes that I got from Walmart. Um, they were a dollar ninety-seven for four, so it's you know they're fairly cheap. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, and let's make some barrettes. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Come on, let's go make some barrettes. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove this metal clip and set it aside. We're going to put that back on after we're done crocheting around the back of the barrette. Get your hook and your yarn and we're going to single crochet around the base of the barrette. Just keep placing single crochets around the barrette. It doesn't really matter how many you put on there. There really isn't a set kind of number. Just keep placing single crochets around the base of the barrette until you have it all filled up. Be careful not to put too many on there so that you can still put your bar back in there. But you also want to have it nice and full at the same time so that it covers the metal of the bar rat. Once you get that all covered up, I'll meet back up with you. Once you have all of your single crochets onto your bar rat, replace the metal bar and make sure your bar rat can open and close properly. Then we're going to chain 10. and we're going to slip stitch into the back loop of the first stitch. Then chain 10 again. Then we're going to slip stitch into the front loop of the next stitch. You might have to turn your work around back and forth while doing this. Then chain 10 again. And we're going to slip stitch into the back loop of the next stitch. So that's how we're going to do this. We're going to chain 10, go front loop, chain 10, back loop, chain 10, front loop, chain 10, back loop, all the way to the end of the row. 
So continue that and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I've reached the end of the row and I'm going to fasten off and get my, my second color which I'm going to use white. I'm going to attach my white yarn in the free loop of the stitch that I just fastened off in. So let me get my yarn situated here so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to fasten on with a slip stitch. And just like before, we're going to chain 10. And then we're going to look for the free loops that we did not use. And we're going to slip stitch into those free loops. So bring your yarn over and slip stitch into that loop. Just like that. And then chain 10 again. Turn. We might have to turn you. Like I said, you have to turn your work around to find those loops. And the next one will be over here. So we have to bring our work yarn over here, and it's right there. And slip stitch, and chain ten. I'm going to pull out a little more yarn here. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we got to look for the next free loop. Should be on this side. And it's right there. And we're going to chain 10 again. And the free loop should be over on the other side this time. So we're actually like weaving the white or your second color, whatever your second color is, into the other loops. And there it is, right there. That's a free loop. Nope, that one's not the free loop. This one is the free loop. So continue doing this to get down to the other side, to the end of the barrette, and I'll meet back up with you at the end. I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to fasten off. Now all we have to do is just weave in these ends and our barrette is all finished. So I'll let you go ahead and weave those ends in on your own. And our barrette is all done. So I hope you like this tutorial. You can like manipulate these if you want to make sure like they're every other one. However you want to make that. That's completely up to you. Here's the other one that I did. You can make as many chains as you want. It depends on how many stitches you've put in there. You can make it as 10 chains. You can make it 5 chains. You don't have to make your loops exactly 10 chains. You can make them as many chains as you want to make it um, loopier. If you want to make it big and puffy, you can make it more chains and put more stitches, more single crochets down there. Depends on how many you want to do and what you want your barrette to look like. 
So if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.